Shri Gurubhyo Namaha. Welcome back to the next session of History Lesson, children. We are continuing with the earliest societies. Okay? Yes. Uh, we have already seen about the old stone age. We have seen about their food habits. We have seen about their tools and weapons they have used and what are those tools made of. And then what we have seen? We have seen about the clothing and the shelter, right? So now we are moving on to the important inventions of Paleolithic age. So what are all the important inventions of Paleolithic age? We will just continue and see. Yes, these are all the inventions, the weapons made up of stone, the uh, fire, and all these are the important inventions of Paleolithic age. And the most important invention of Paleolithic age is fire. Okay, fire is the most important invention of Paleolithic. Just imagine a day without fire, any form of fire, just imagine a day. Is that possible for us today? No, we cannot cook, we cannot have food. So, the end, our entire day will not be complete, right? So, fire is a very important source for us. So, this was first invented in Paleolithic age. So, let us see an interesting story about Paleolithic age. That is the invention of fire. Shall we see an interesting story? Yes, this is going to be a story. Fine. See, the old stone age man, he was living in the cave and the, he was, uh, see how did he paint on the walls? They were using the fruits, the color of the fruits or the leaves or the stones on whatever they have got. They were painting with that, right? See here a stone age man was taking the extract from the fruit, okay? So to continue painting on the wall, okay? So here he was painting, okay? What happened then? One day when he was painting there was sudden lightning that was new to him sudden lightning he is seeing from the cave uh, suddenly a light comes up and it immediately goes off so he didn't understand what it was so what he did he went out he went out of his cave and he wanted to see what it was he just wanted to know that what it was he was very eager to know okay so what happened then he Sorry. See, when he was watching out what it was, suddenly another stroke of lightning came and it burnt a tree. We have seen, no? Lightning will burn the trees also. So, he saw this and he was shocked to see what it was. And first, he was scared. He was scared or oh, something is happening around us and he was completely scared. He didn't know what to do. Okay. So he went and he hid himself behind a rock. Then what happened out of curiosity, he walked near that fire and he wanted to see what it was. So he was very curious and he was very eager to know what it was. So what he did, he went near the fire. He was keeping his hands near the fire. He felt the warmth. He felt very happy having that warmth because he has no dress on his body. So he felt very cold. No, he will feel very cold. So he went near the fire and he felt that warmth and he felt very happy. What happened then? He went even more closer to the fire. Okay. So when he went very near the fire, what happened? His beard got burnt. See here you can see his beard got burnt. Okay. So he felt that when it is when i feel a distance between the fire and me it is good for me so when i go very near to the fire what happens it is harmful for us right yes so after he got burnt what did he did no he ran back he somehow uh, off, off the flames and then he ran back to the cave okay because he was scared something happened to him also so he was scared so he went inside and what happened he was still watching that fire on the tree okay so the lightning fire on the tree he was still watching on the behind the cave he was just hiding himself inside the cave and he was watching that fire then what he did he thought that it was maybe an any enemy's uh, thing okay so some someone is going to attack him he thought like that he thought the fire as something which is going to attack him because it created harm to him okay 
so what he did he threw his weapon on the fire here you can see the weapon he threw his weapon on the fire and he was attacking the fire but he didn't know that he cannot attack a fire that easily right then what happened see after attacking the fire what happened his stick also got burnt he was trying to pull off the stick from the fire but when he was pulling it off he could get only a part of his stick okay so with the fire he got it then what happened he realized that it is not creating any harm to him see the happiness in his face he has found out something new okay and it is not harming him now right so he felt happy that he has found something new then he 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 was like uh, very happy and he has something found very new which no one has else have found right no one else have found so he was very happy and he was holding it on his hand then what happened with that fire he started burning everything around okay so he started to keep fire everything around then he realized that with fire he can burn things he can keep him warm okay so see he started burning the bushes around him okay so that is how he invented fire he the, so from a lightning he has seen that fire could happen and from that he learned that fire can be easily spread over clear yes so was the story good okay we'll continue with the lesson children so uh, according to these historians so they have uh, confirmed or they have said that fire was discovered in paleolithic age only okay so whom uh, human beings who lived during that paleolithic age once they started using the fire they learned how to create fire and they also learned how to control the fire also okay so they also as they knew to clear create the fire they also learned to control the fire so uh what they happened okay so how they invented fire see this is whatever i told you earlier was just a story okay so but how did they learn to create fire because they had been familiar with the fire when they were traveling over the places they had been very familiar with the fire okay they had seen that many bush fires many forest fires they have seen okay it uh, it occurs naturally right so the same way when they were making tools and when one stone was rubbing with the other okay see uh, while uh, rubbing the stones or while making or sharpening the stones when two stones when they are being rubbed with each other they generated the spark okay and that spark ignited the dry leaves around okay so that spark they learned that fire can be created by rubbing two stones okay so over this period of time when they learned to create fire they also controlled the fire very well so here you can see a stone age man holding two stones with which he was creating fire so uh, after discovery of fire and the uh, control over the fire the lifestyle of the human beings changed dramatically a very big change was there so what were all the changes they they were easily they were comfortably moving to the colder places also because they knew to make the fire so they can uh, create fire and they can keep themselves warm right so uh, they they started moving all over the colder places and they started spreading to many geographical areas clear because of this fire they started moving confidently to various places and they also learned to cook the hunted animals whichever they were eating uh, raw before okay so previously they were eating all these dead animals in raw okay later stages when they uh, see when they created fire maybe how they would have uh, learned to cook see somewhere the fire would have been there and what would have happened maybe the hunted animal something which they had kept nearby would have fallen on fire so what they have but they should have their food no so they would have taken that animal and somehow they have switched off the 
fire and they would have ate that and they would have uh, found it very delicious very tasty that food would have been very tasty for them so they would have started cooking like that right okay so the hunted animals meat which they cooked raw which they ate raw they started cooking they learned cooking then so as we seen that they, they moved from place to place they learned cooking so once they started learn to cook okay they started eating very delicious foods right so what happened their average life span increased because of this cooked food okay because how the uh, cooked food can increase the life span because the raw animals the dead animals will have germs in them right so they cannot keep it for long period of time and when they keep for long period of time and if they are going to eat it it is poisonous for the body again right so that is how they uh, increase they started cooking and their life span increased and the same way the fire protected them from the animals so when animals came near them they saw something burning and they got scared and they went back so like that they protected themselves from animals and the other rival groups okay who were not aware of fires and the mastery over the fire see when they started using fire regularly they have become masters on fire right so that mastery over the fire helped them in building community that is they for they started forming groups okay so individually we cannot have fire for each and every one so they created fire in between and they started sitting around the fire in groups and they were enjoying the warmth so example is camp fire so the then what happened after this fire when they started to form groups they understood that they had to communicate with each other they had to talk with each other they had to express themselves to each other they have learned that so after that what happened they uh, the language started developing so from the fire it started to moving over places cooking uh, life span increasing and the language development it all started with fire it all started with a spark okay so they helped this discovery of fire helped them to move over places conquer various lands okay and the quality of their life and the life span also increased so and they were able to build communities and as they built communities they were able to build communication between them also clear here you can see the meat being cooked right with the help of fire so and finally we are moving on to language and art used by them see the earlier human beings first when they didn't know that they can speak okay when they didn't realize that they can speak they were using sign languages to communicate okay so when they started uh, communicating using the sign languages and the drawings that was the main source of communication in the we have seen that drawings are the main source of communication in prehistoric period right and most of the paintings which they had drawn on cave walls depicted only the human beings and animals and who were engaged in hunting war and playing okay so their drawings depicted whatever they have seen the animal structures or the human beings being engaged in hunting or the human beings who were playing all these structures were drawn by them on the walls of the cave and in india we have the cave paintings even today at bimbetka and adamgar at madhya pradesh okay so what happened when they started with the sign language later they started to develop a spoken language probably when they tried to shout out for something or uh, shout out when they wanted to safeguard themselves they would have learned that they can speak they can talk they would have learned by then so like that the speak, spoken language started 1 lakh years ago okay so towards the end of the stone age so they started speaking 1 lakh years ago only right so and finally they they were towards the end of the stone age they started making sculptures because they were they learned to use things whatever they had got right so with that they started to make small 
sculptures like things and a simple uh, see those sculptures were made with the bones and the clay what will they do with the bones they can just crave carve the bones and they can make a particular shape right the same way with the clay they were able to make the shapes so thus many of the sculptures of this stone age depicted mother goddess as said by the historians and archaeologists so with all these findings from the various places they found that the pictures or the sculptures which they have got represents mother goddess okay yes with this we have ending the session of the lifestyle the fire invention and the language and the art used by the old stone age people see you in next session children thank you shri gurubhyo namaha